I got my wasp and ant dust puffer pack. So that's the brand. This is what I use for my ants and also my specially made ant solution. Now let's go search for some ants. Ants, 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 ants. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. I've been meaning to do an ant video, how to get rid of ants, but my problem is I can't find any ants in my garden anymore. I used to have them and this is all I use, these two remedy. So one is my ant powder or wasp powder. So I just, hang on, remove this. So it comes like that and I still have a little bit left and the other day I tried to lift up this rock here and I hope they're still here but anyway yes look there's a nest see look ant nest okay don't know if you can see that but and all I do with this one if I find a nest is spray this powder wow because normally I would use this when I see some ants trail I would spray on the ant and they carry it into their nest and kills them and even better if you can find the nest because that will just kill them and that's the only way I was able to get rid of them in my backyard so I don't have them in my backyard anymore these ones they will just die eventually I'll put that one back there oh hang on there's more there and now at the front here I'm gonna use this to spray maybe do it where oh. The sun doesn't shine. So this one, uh, I just spray my ant solution and look, it just immobilizes them and stops them. Hang on, look, if you spray that, it just kills the ants. And well, it stops them first. Look, they still sort of, I have to make this a little bit milder so you can see all the ants now like that one. See, look, it's still crawling and they suffocate and die here you go so i had a stronger solution before but after using it i found a couple of dead bees and i don't like that at all so but this one is a little bit weaker i just made it a little bit weaker and so now you can see when it does dry up some of them I uh, can still walk away, but most of them just stay dead. <laughs> so, anyway, so this, this is the, the, it's all natural anyway. So what I'm using here can be used on direct spray or on the track. It just sort of melts them and kills them. This is, oh, there you go. Oopsie, there you go, I sprayed one. And you can see him struggling, wriggling, and crawling out and then slowly it's going to walk and then plonk and die. Maybe it pass out, but I find that they do sort of takes the life out of them. So this is a very effective spray on direct contact with ants or even the track. So say for example, if an ant is coming here, you just spray the area around it. They don't seem to go in it. And the solution lasts for a couple of months. So there's that one ant sort of spinning around, dying. That's not from my spray, that's actually from the powder. So it takes a while for them to die, but eventually they die. And the best thing about it is that if you, if they have in contact with this powdery stuff, they bring it back to their nest and then kills off the nest. So say for example, in this scenario here, I've got the feet of or the legs or the base of my shelves here where say for example there's some ant trail going up there so what i do if the i follow the trail of the ant and spray around the base of a bit more than that because i'm running out <laughs> this is three i spray the base of the legs of my shelves and any ants that's in the surrounding area say around here coming onto that or gonna crawl up there 
they don't seem to go there anymore they find other ways so if you do the perimeter or spray the perimeter with this stuff then the ants go somewhere else in cases like this plant here this is my crested blade runner Echeveria blade runner and you can see in there there's ant right inside there they actually nested inside there so this one is also effective in killing mealybugs by the way but it just leaves uh, because it's oil based so you can see the ant crawling because it's oil based it tends to remove the farina on the plant but if my main concern is killing the ant then I use this but if not then I just do the perimeter but anyway this one now it has nested around this plant so even down on the other side here see they have formed a nest can you can see come on ants look little ants running around come on so I'm sure if I look through the plant they'll be all through it so what I do with this one is spray the whole plant so this is safe to use on plants on succulents I have used this on my Sempervivum where there's ant infestation and it also kills the spider so there's a little spider that I just sprayed on oh another sp spider jumping spider over there okay see that jumping spider there you go so it uh, sort of knocks them out and eventually that will get drunk uh, see you can see that's already being affected so that's a spider so what more on ants basically so it just sort of also incapacitates them basically that's what it does then that's it now he's put his bum down and now I think he's still alive but he'll be dead soon so with spiders as well, I use this for spiders to spray around right? if I see some spider web. So now, that's it. It's like, I'm dying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, that's it. Dead. Okay, so this is how effective it is. So now I'm just going to continue spraying my plant here. And I am running out, so I definitely have to make some more. And if you spray it on the soil, you're almost guaranteed. Almost. Okay, that's the operative word. Because there's sprays and there's sprays. It's the way you spray as well. So if you miss some spots, of course, the ant is going to walk away. But you can see the all just see that one there. The little ant there has already melted away up the top as well the ants not gonna go anywhere okay now this one go back here and now I'll show you how to make my ant solution So tea tree oil I've always used. I've always had tea tree oil for household cleaning stuff. I use it for mopping the floor. I mean, I put a couple of drops into my water when I mop the floor. Uh, cleaning benches. So it's all around antiseptic, antibacterial. And the same with lavender oil. Lavender oil I use for uh, my little oil burner. And also for perfume and stuff like that, I also use it sometimes um, when I'm wiping uh, the surfaces of my house <laughs> for cleaning, basically. That's what I use these ones for. So now dishwashing liquid, no explanation. You know what dishwashing liquid is for. But anyway, so let's get on with it. So first things first, we need a one liter container. And I'm going to put... Two cups of water or 500 mils or half a liter. So warm, not hot. And to this, I'm going to add a teaspoon and a half or half a tablespoon of tea tree oil. So one teaspoon and we'll do half. There you go. So 
So one and a half teaspoon or half a tablespoon. And then I'm going to take the same. So seven mil or one and a half. So one and a half. And then I'm going to put one teaspoon of dishwashing liquid. And that's about, there you go, there you go. And then we're going to close the lid and we're going to shake, shake, shake. Just shake the bottle. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, so now that's creating a lot of bubbles. So, and now the smell test, okay? There you go on my hand and see how it still creates like a suds or bubble up from, ah, oh, that smells nice. Anyway, <laughs> I might as well use it as lotion. <laughs> but anyway, so now, now this is now good and ready to use. Check out these bees here. Oh, just a butterfly. Oh, look at them. They love, 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 love. <laughs> this flower. This is a Crassula falcata that is flowering at the moment. Look, I've got four bees. Have you got more? These little guys are the reason why I don't like using sprays. 